How far would you go to help a stranger? If you think about it, it's a scenario most of us encounter on a daily basis. Seeing someone in need for Woodford County's Walter Kinder, a stranger's decision to help him changed the course of Walter's life. I'm fully and truly convinced that track saved my life. Life is made up of moments. Each moment includes choices. 19-year-old Walter Kinder has had his fair share of moments, the earliest of which provided him with no choice. I think I was in about seven or eight elementary schools just in kindergarten. Then as a third grader, and I got pulled out of class one day, told me my mom had went to jail. Uh, they needed to figure out what they were going to do with me. Because at, at the time, my dad was also incarcerated. So Walter moved in with his grandparents, which was a good thing. They were his role models. But a couple years later, his grandfather passed away. We're just going to say once he died, my life kind of went downhill. It was back to his old lifestyle, moving from place to place with his mother. Then, in his eighth grade year, he met the Woodford County Middle School track and field coach, Jim Jarman. I'm not a teacher, but I went to lunch with my daughter one day, and she said, why are you here? I said, well, I want to have lunch with you, but I'm on a recruiting mission. And so I was looking around the lunchroom, and I hear this commotion. So I walked over, and I said, stand up, young man. And so Walter stood up and I immediately knew I had a shot put thrower on my hands. From that point, I was interested. It's just the situation going on in my life, I never really could get there. So I had other priorities, things to be able to survive properly going on. Jarman didn't know that. In fact, very few knew that. But Jarman got his first glimpse of what Walter's life was really like following the team's first meet of Walter's eighth grade year. We got home. I'm going to guess around 12, 1230 in the evening, morning. And here's Walter sitting over here on a concrete bench without a ride home. That was a recurring theme for Walter until his freshman year. One evening in December, it was cold and it was snowy. It was about 10 or 1030. And Walter called and said, I'm cold and walking around. I said, I'm coming to get you. And what I noticed was that he was wearing tennis shoes and a hoodie and a short sleeve shirt on and jeans. No hat, no gloves, and it was less than 15 degrees outside. The next day, Jarman contacted the Woodford County High School social worker, who in turn contacted Walter's uncle, John Pitts. Somebody either had to take him or they was going to send him off. When they said he had to have some uh, stable home, I went and got a place and brought him home with me. For the next three years, Walter had two homes, one with his uncle, the other with the track team, both of which have taken Walter from the uncertainty of life on the streets to the University of the Cumberlands where he'll pursue his college degree and continue his athletic career, something that may have never happened without Jim Jarman. I was an honor to have been a part of it all, and, uh, and I have a lifelong friend. I consider him as family more so than I do a friend. Can't really thank him enough for what he's done. And to no surprise, Walter is studying human services in school he believes he was meant to go through what he went through to help others. Back to you.